Greetings, this is a real quick video to talk about Windows 11 and GPU driver rollback. Specifically in the context of Blender, this is where it bit me, so I'm going to dive in and talk a little bit about the problem and how I spotted it and what the resolution is. First things first, Blender 4 came out, yay! And there'll be a card around here to go watch our funny video about that. We're add-on developers, we've had a great time getting ready for that and poking a bit of fun of it ourselves, so feel free to watch that video. So, I noticed after installing Blender 4 and starting to test that when I selected optics like I'm doing now, it tells me uh, my graphics card is not supported. Specifically, it says, requires an NVIDIA GPU with compute capability 5, which my graphics card does. The 2070 Super is actually I think version 7.5 with compute capability, so that's no issue. And NVIDIA driver version 470 or newer. Now prior to installing Windows 11, my driver version was above 526. I thought I was good. I went to Blender's release notes, had a look through it, and there was literally nothing about ditching support for any GPUs. In fact, if you scroll down to the bottom of the release notes for Blender 4, there's no mention of it. So I wondered, what has happened? This looks like it's just this guy that's experiencing this because there's no talk anywhere on any forums that I can find about this problem either. So I was about to start asking people what had happened and when I went and checked what my driver version actually was and lo and behold it's at 456 as you can tell so that's a bit weird. So I did a little bit of digging around this particular issue and came across this thread on answers.microsoft.com so it turns out I am not the only person who this has happened to. It seems that Windows is actually capable of rolling back the driver for you in some cases and there is actually a way to stop this from happening which I will leave this up on the screen you can pause this and watch it at your leisure if you want to do that. So the solution is actually quite simple if you're in this situation if you want to get your GPUs working again in Blender then really you just most likely we'll just have to update the driver version because there is definitely no lack of support for the 2000 series cards or any of the other cards. Um, you can find out what cards are supported by going to blender.org and checking the minimum system requirements, it should tell you there. So really all this problem needs is for you to go and update your driver. So after a quick restart, you can see that now the driver version is at 546 or whatever it is. And if we go into Blender, we can see that we've now actually got optics working, whereas before, um, only CUDA would work. So that's pretty much the fix. Install the most recent drivers. It really only applies to you, I think, if you've had this upgrade, well, upgrade to a new Windows version downgrade of your drivers for your graphics card happen which doesn't seem to be very common, otherwise I'm sure I'd see more people talking about it. But if you are scratching your head and wondering, hey, why the heck is my graphics card no longer recognized for optics in Blender, then if you're on Windows, there's a good chance that this is the reason. And the fix is super simple. Just go check your drivers, make sure they are up to date. They're probably not. And if they're not, then just install the latest one and you're fine. That's pretty much this video. So hopefully it helped. Please let us know if we do help. That's what the comment section is for. Um, so if I have not helped, probably let me know and why and how I could help better next time. Uh, liking, subscribing, all that stuff is, is up to you. I care mostly about you telling me if I'm doing a good job. So on that note, see you later.